Hello and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal with me, Matthew Caddies, Iggy Poogie. So today we will uh, re-enter Maruki's palace and hopefully get through to the treasure. Um, though there's still a few stumbling blocks to go through, even after we've turned off the thing in Mementos. So, that being said, let's head to the monitoring prep room, the uh, nearest one to where that one something. door we had to go through, and we couldn't go through because of mementos and everything. So, yeah. So, with that said, um, I'm saying way too long on the saving screen. I, do, I, know, I, I, I know I do like Soji Megaru's music, but come on, man. Let's go in. Uh, so, that being said, let's head down here into the main hallway and, uh, yep, the cables are gone, which means we can now go further in and into the, um, um, dare I say, the inner sanctum, so to speak. And some of the researchers are also, in fact, all of the researchers are shadows, including the, the, well, I don't know if that one was male or female, but never mind. Okay, so we have that dragonoid um, thing. The monster of depravity, apparently. Let's see, the, the dragon blocks uh, any physicals, so I can't use any uh, curse magic. So let's try curse magic. I, oh, that blocks as well. Okay, uh, psychokinesis? Um, not bad, but I'm not doing any damage. I've already got Biaki, I know that, so. That's no good. Um, we know that it's weak against Bufu. Do we have a persona with Bufu on us? Let's see. Um, um, yeah, um, a bad one does. Oh, we can just use Ice Age. My Bufu dies a bit much because that's more of a multi-targeting thing. We can just use regular Bufu die actually, or Atomic Flare that works as well. As for the other one, we will probably have to to. Um, I suppose we're on uh, Futaba to look at that. Okay, so let's try Nocturnal Flash and blinding him. Because even though he has Curse Magic, yeah, two of our party are weak against that. Death Scythe, that could inflict fear, and it does actually on the... They're actually on the knee. Nice uh, uh, technical strike there, Joker. So now that leaves that one monster of depravity. Okay, so I'm going, I'm going to switch out um, Mona for maybe um, Samiri. Oh my god. I think I had a... I don't know if I had a homunculus. Uh, homunculi, by the way, in the Persona games can take a death hit for you, shall we say. Oh, nice tech hit there, uh, Akechi. Okay, so I'm ready to shower. Let's get rid of that uh, god-awful... Um, Thing. I can't do anything about the thing. Do I have any? I mean, I should have kept. Hold on. I should have switched someone else out, actually. I don't want to waste all my beads here because there's still Maruki to contend with, even after all this shit has gone through. Uh, so. Kogon! Please bless. Oh, yeah, please bless. Is that not its weakness then? Because this guy's taking too long, seriously. I already have a very low HP uh, thing. Let's try. Labor Team doesn't do shit! Uh, okay, so, uh, more psychokinesis than uh, Haru. Okay, it's so low on HP and uh, the Missionary of Depravity. Apparently, you can lend it its power, so what's this one called? Belial. Okay, then we can take the form of a dragon with a, with a Satan's uh, pitchfork, but. You do you, buddy! Um, so let's carry on. And, um, let's see, we have an area full of psychometric tests. Seriously. Um, feels like something I would have done at um, secondary school, seriously. Anyway, if we go through this door, we're in another lab. And, oh boy, an alien? Yeah, an alien in here, and, uh, okay, we've seen these guys before. Then we're back, so let's head downstairs and through into this lab with a bunch of computers. I don't know if we'll, we'll think, but there is a door here. 
Looks very similar to something out of Okuma's palace, actually. Uh, at least we're not in space anymore. We don't have to hold our breath. For real? Something about a question mm -hmm. regarding Maruki. And that is one of the main things uh, we will have to All find. Right, let's go. So, what we are looking for now is a tape that tells about Maruki's past. And this is one of the things I actually love about Maruki's palace. As we tells a bit more about why he's wanting to go through this whole actualization thing here. Um, as we'll see. But, um, yeah. Okay, we've also got Macabre here, which we already have. The locked door, so we can't go through there. Let's see. There are two doors off to the right. Uh, this door is unlocked on here on the left. So let's see, another researcher there. Please be a new persona. I am tired of skipping all these battles. No, nope, so Biaki and Macabre. Further in, I do actually come across another treasure chest in here. So yes, I will open the damn thing. Especially with the perma pig. Okay, what do we get in here? Uh, I think it was a soul drop. Okay, very cool. Um, I'm not sure that I can use that yet. Let's see, um, so yeah, I have three soul drops and one, ch no, one soul drop and one chewing soul. Uh, chewing souls are just all more SP at least, which, yeah. Okay, so next let's go through this door and it's, that one's locked as well! Yay! And I'm being chased by another shadow, so I'm going to run the hell out of here. Seriously, um, stop spotlighting me, mate, stop spotlighting me. Okay, so, no, you're not ambushing me. I got the drop on you, even though we scooby doo this shit. Also, some clues here in regards to Maruki. Because, uh, yeah, it's not just, like, videos or anything. Inside this room, we will get something of, I guess, a document. Which actually tells of uh, Maruki's things. Wait, so, a little bit of... A daughter of a higher up is going to was he wants to marry? Is that what it is? Okay. Yeah, it does sound like a diary. Yeah. But maybe, but I think we'll find out a bit more about that as we go along. Such is the thing with JRPGs. So that being said, let's um, have a look at the map. Where have I not been? Very few places, in fact! Seriously, um, so yeah, this area of Mariki's palace is absolutely much like a maze. That door's locked, so we can't go through there. Have we been up here yet? I don't know. I do not know. Doesn't look like we have, so I think we'll go up here and explore then. There may well be some more shadows. Well, there is a crawl space for us to go through. No bug grabbing jokes, please. I've added... That got, that was annoying by the time we did, by the, when I played uh, Grandia, seriously, that was one of my favorite RPGs on the PlayStation 1. Anyway, here's the, um, another treasure chest. What's in here then? Um, okay. A weapon for, um, another saber for Akechi or whatever. Well, it's a sword or something. Maybe a lightsaber. Although, maybe like with uh, SAO, it'd be called a photon sword. Anyway, we also have our first wheel seed in here. And just like the whole sci-fi-esque thing, all Barricade's Rise is behind a heavily fortified door. So yes, what's one in... Sorrow! Okay. I don't think Sorrow is one of the seven, seven deadly sins. Yeah, but uh, you will see why... Um, um, creepy, huh? there, it's more of an emotion to it, it's really a sorrow, but you will see why um, Maruki's sort of, not sin, because he's not evil, so to speak, is a sorrow as we go through his palace. Uh, so yeah, so let's get out here then, and um, duly run along here and down the stairs. Um, let's see, what else can we see? Couple of locked doors there, we can't go through there. We need to know what what the answer to the question that so eludes us is about Maruki. Because this is going to be a pain in the ass. Otherwise, it, if we don't, seriously. 
Um, so we can't go through there. No hidden uh, things there. And I, no, I cannot use Joker's third eye. That door's locked as well. So we can't go through there. Um, is there anything I am missing in here? Yeah, I don't know. There is another crawl space we can go through, namely in here, in the office where we found that um, diary entry from Maruki. And this will take us to our first video about him. So, more backstory about Maruki. What's up with this room? The entire palace has been rather bizarre, but this room is rather strange in its own way. CRT TV, huh? Talk about old school. Look, it's even got a built-in VCR. Hmm, maybe we've got to watch some TV first? Ugh, I highly doubt that. Actually, there's a chance he's right. There appears to be a tape by the VCR. Well... It appears we don't have any choice but to watch the tape, do we? Of course, it could possibly just be a trap. Nothing's happening. It's making some strange noises. Could it be broken? Do you think we should try whacking it? Uh, please don't. Oh, it's playing. Stay on guard, everyone. How are you feeling today, Rumi? Sorry, I came empty-handed. I've just been so busy with the research lately. I haven't had the chance to pick up any part-time work. I know. I'll buy you flowers the next time I come. Do you remember that wildflower field we used to go to back in high school? You really loved it there. Didn't you? Oh, would you prefer if I brought you some snacks instead? Which should I bring? Sweet or salty? I know you like both, so... Actually, I have some news for you today. So first, I've finished my paper. The other thing is, they caught the culprit. He's in police custody now. You don't need to worry anymore. <sighs> of course, that doesn't mean everything's over and done with. But things are going to proceed as they ought to. <sighs> My cognitive science is the study of people's hearts and how they guide people's views of the world. Everyone comprehends the world in a different way, depending on their cognition. So basically, if one could tap into a person's cognitive world, one would even be able to alter how that person views reality in every way. That's what my paper is all about. <laughs> Here I am, going way over your head with this stuff, just like always. <sighs> but anyway, I've recently met someone who thinks my research could be fruitful. If everything moves forward as planned, they may even fund my work. At that point, I'd be the first professional scientist in the world. My goal is to find a way to stop crime by putting my research into action. Many of the criminals in this world are deluded to the point of seeing everything through a distorted lens. If I could change their cognitions, it would stop them from committing crimes before they even considered them. And if I were to succeed, the things that happened to you would never happen to anyone else again. <sighs> I want to save you. No, not just you. I want to save the whole world with my cognitive science. Well, at least I know your family would appreciate it. Tak to. Rumi, it's me. Are you all right? Can you talk? Tak to. Family. Uh. My family. Dad. Mom. No. Please, please don't go. Ah! Rumi, Rumi, it's okay. Calm down. Give me my mom and dad! Uh, you want one? These migraines are... Damn it! Don't worry, someone's coming to help. 
I believe it was most likely a post-traumatic episode. Memories of the incident must have resurfaced due to some sort of stimuli, like certain imagery or phrasing. Phrasing? I'm so sorry, Rumi. It's all my fault. Deep down, I knew. I could end all crime across the world. It still wouldn't bring your family back. What you truly need is to be set free from that horrible tragedy. But how can I do that? Must seek me. What? What was that? Nakuto, please stop this. I want to forget. Forget? I wish I could do something to... Oh. But wait, by altering a subject's cognition, by changing their heart, any related trauma is eliminated. You must seek me. So, by that logic, all that pain, Rumi's trauma and everyone else's, it can be undone. Seek me. I am that who manifests thought itself. I shall echo your blasphemous fury of reality, so that we may together change the world. Now, call me forth. Yes, I'll do it. I don't care who you may be. Lend me your strength, please. Help me save Rumi's life. Rumi, are you okay? Who... who are you? Rumi, it's me! Um, I'm really sorry, but I don't know who you are. Rumi, what do you mean? I've just gone through surgery. Ever since I was born, I've been unwell. I lost my parents when I was young. So I live with my grandparents in the countryside now. When you were... young? You can't. It's me, Rumi. Don't you remember me? Um, I really am sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, I'm going to be discharged from here pretty soon, now that I've finished my last round of surgery. I can't wait to see my grandparents again, and show them how well I've recovered. This is... were her memories actually revised? Wait. Was that voice really... Um... Are you alright? That's absurd. How could something like... Oh, I mean... It's nothing. I'm just glad you're doing better now. She remembers nothing of the incident. So, Furumi... By the way, what are you doing in my room? How do you know my name? Oh, well, I'm... Uh... Sorry. I mistook you for someone else. Another person? Yeah. My my girlfriend's name is Rumi, too. Really? That's so nice to hear. Yeah. Huh? Looks like I really messed up finding the right room. I really am sorry to disturb you. Um, so I know this might sound odd, but if you'd like to meet again sometime... Thank you for the offer, but... I'm sorry. I'm going to be getting busier than ever soon, so I don't believe we'll be meeting again. Really? But what about your girlfriend? She's... passed away. That's why I won't be coming here anymore. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you feel better soon, and I know the people who care about you wish the same. That was... Dr. Maruki, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Based on what we've seen, we can surmise that Dr. Maruki's memory was somehow on that videotape. The way that woman was acting at the end, 
That's just how it went for me, too. So he rewrote her cognition. Considering what he was saying in the video, that might have been the moment he first awakened to his ability. Could Dr. Maruki possibly have wanted us to watch this memory? Mm, I don't think that's the case. It's possible that this is just an old memory he tried to bury in his unconscious mind. Still, if this actually occurred, there's no mistaking it for a trivial memory. This is clearly important to Maruki. Whether for good or bad, it appears that this incident is what Dr. Maruki to his current mission. You're right. That was a lot to get through. Yeah. So the um, eventual um, problem of his supposed, uh, or his girlfriend, Rumi, um, pretty much erasure of her memories caused him to actually pursue his whole experiment. Hmm. Yeah. His lover. That was who it was that caused him to change and pretty much pursue the whole uh, agenda, shall we say, of um, actualization. Oh, yeah! Yeah, it's kind of sad what happened to Rumi. You have to feel sorry for Dr. Maruki as well, because well, that was his lover. Huh? Also, here's another map, but for real? to be honest, huh? yeah. What the hell? Much worse is to come while we get through the uh, palace. Do you have a moment? Yeah, that is not the end of uh, Dr. Maruki's uh, backstory while we go through here. Hmm. Well, anyway, the next uh, safe room is nearby. So let's go into the next room and... Okay, this looks even more futuristic than in the previous areas. So if we have a look around, um, let's see... There's two doors here, one on the level, and on the far left is where the safe room is. So I will see you on the next one. Goodbye!